Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. Car Connections, you subscribe, turn on your notification button. Let's give a quick update. It's been a while since I did anything for the channel. I will tell you is a um, very clean garage. As you can see, I have no cars in my garage. I just wanted to spend some quick time. It's on a Sunday. I'm upcoming potential changes to the channel. We'll see what happens. So I had been in the I had been looking initially for like a 2002 Trans Am Anniversary Edition. Kicked that can around for, for quite some time aggressively. I was then also looking for a 1999 Trans Am Anniversary Edition, the one with the blue kind of wheels. If you, if you guys are from my era, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the anniversary, kind of a blue haze to the wheels. Beautiful car, white interior. Kick that can a little bit around for a little bit. And the other one I was looking at was actually a 1972 Nissan. Well, not Nissan. Actually, back in 72, there were Datsuns. 1972, 1974. Kind of an old school car. I was like, maybe I'll play in that playground for a little bit. Yeah, and then ultimately, uh, I started shopping around for a GT500. And I called, uh, I don't know how many multiple dealers, uh, you know, so many dealers I called. No luck there. Every, every, basically every dealership I called in Texas and outside of Texas was looking for markups, man. You're looking at around, if you want a 2022 GT500 right now, guys, at least right now, maybe the market's slowing down. And it is, I can tell. Anybody can tell if you're a car guy and you've been looking at cars like we all do on Auto Trader, Car Gurus, Auto List. You can see that the car market is starting to slow down. Nobody wants to flex on these cars right now, specifically uh, limited production cars. Dealerships won't flex. You might get some flexibility on other cars, but, but nothing that really is a low volume type of vehicle. All different dealerships. Again, twenty twenty five thousand dollars above sticker. I then said, okay, what other car might I like that's within the, within the Mustang pedigree? That's not your traditional kind of run of the mill GTS. Uh, so then, what I did is, I said, okay, I'm going to do that. Let me go back to Camaro. And as you guys know, a lot of you guys are probably on this channel and subscribe to the channel because I did own a uh, 2019 Camaro ZL1 One Elite. Automatic, one of the first. So I pivoted to then going and getting a Camaro SS 1LE, which I think is a banger. So if you're in the market looking for one of those, if you can find it at sticker right now, that's the problem is, you know, those cars sticker for about 47,000. You ask tax title license, depending on where you live in Texas, you're looking at around 50K. It's a hell of a steal for that car. But the reality is even those cars uh, dealerships are asking around 10 G's above asking. I get lucky and maybe get somebody at seven, maybe. Uh, but they're all looking for, and I was actually looking for like a blue one. There's like a very light blue car I was looking. Then they have like a, a unique orange uh, on the Camaro 1 Elite for 2022. That's a little bit different and unique. And, and so I dabble in that for, for a long time. And again, going back and forth with different cars. One car that you guys don't know that's actually will be coming to the channel. I had ordered a Mini SE. It's an electric Mini. And as you guys know, that have been following the channel. Uh, I actually sold my Tesla uh, Model 3 and, and got a banger of, a, of an offer on the car. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, and so not only did I get all the money I had put into the car from a down payment perspective, but then also all the money and equity the car made because the market was extremely hot. And again, I sold the Tesla roughly about, I don't know, maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago. And by the way, in case you don't know, I had tried Carvana and I had tried Vroom. I had tried different websites to sell the Tesla. The best offer I had gotten was from Carvana, like at 59,000. But then I had a buddy from work, uh, which has a YouTube channel called Shots Automotive. You wanna check out his channel. He's like, hey man, you should try out driveway.com. And again, I was getting 59,000 for the Tesla at the time. And I tried driveway, I checked it out to see what would happen. And sure enough, driveway came in at 65,000 guys, $6,000 above what Carvana was asking for the car. And I originally paid, I honestly don't even remember, I wanna say I paid 54 or 56 for the car. So again, I you know I made maybe 10 plus all the money I had already put into it, plus a down payment. So it just, it was, 
I didn't want to really get rid of the electric car because, you know, right now gas is high and I was like, it's like the perfect car, but I just couldn't pass up on the offer and I sold the car. But going back, I had ordered a Mini SE and in case you guys don't know, Mini Cooper, yes, the little small car, makes an electric car. And so I had actually placed a, an order on that car, I don't know, four or five months ago. Didn't let anybody know, just close people to me know I had ordered the car. Um, and uh, that car is supposed to arrive, I think, sometime this week or in the next couple of weeks. And if you're interested, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog it. And for whoever who's interested, I think it's the perfect commuter car. Uh, again, look it up, Mini SE. Uh, what's great about this car where it's a banger, guys, is I got mine for 30,000. That's what the car was before tax title and license. Uh, with TTNL, it's probably gonna be 33K. But what's what's pretty neat about the car is, you know, yeah, it's 30,000 before taxes, but at the end of the year, you get a $7,500 tax credit back. So basically I'll get $7,500 back on that vehicle and, and the menu end up costing me say 23,000, 225, whatever that may be. And for me, an electric car for 225 that has a full year, four year, 50,000 mile warranty, full battery warranty, I think it's like eight years, 100,000 miles. I think it's like the perfect commuter car uh, for traveling to work, uh, for, for the use. I think it's like, again, perfect. Again, I'm a little biased because again, I did order the car. Again, this is this was a side kind of hustle, if you want to call it, trying to get the Mini. In the interim, I was still shopping around other cars because I really wanted another uh, muscle car, some kind of an American muscle car. I've owned the Camaro and I've owned a Dodge. Uh, as you guys know, again, if a lot of you guys are probably on this channel, Dodge Charger wide body, and I also owned a Dodge Challenger wide body. Both were automatics, uh, great cars, have nothing to say bad. Those are fantastic cars. The car I had never purchased though before was Mustang. I've owned, never owned a pony, ever, ever. I owned any Ford products, I take that back, I did. I had a Ford Ranger back in the day, years ago. I had owned a Ford Ranger, but I had never owned a, a, a call it a performance vehicle from Ford. And so I started dabbling and another car that really had been catching my eye a lot was the Ford Mach 1. It comes like 480 horsepower, blah, 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 right? Started looking at that car and again, then started calling some dealerships on that car and come to find out again, 10, $15,000 about ask. So I was like, oh my God, dude, the, the market's just crazy right now. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna settle down, relax, right? Slow my roll. And then um, all of a sudden I get a, a dealership that I had called about the Mach 1 and the GT500 at the time. And they give me a call and one thing leads to another. And so next to you know, they have a Mach 1 that's in the showroom. And uh, he sends me a text of it. I'm like, yeah, that's great. Car looks fantastic. It has the track package, right? Uh, Sport Cup 2s, Michelin tires on it, Recaro seats. I mean, it's it's a beautiful car, quad exhaust. I mean, if you guys are familiar with the Mustang Mach 1, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But what really poked me really hard was that the car was not FA green, but it's called eruption green. And as you guys know, I have a... I have a soft spot for green. I mean, I had a Durango Hellcat that was an FA green. I had a Charger uh, wide body in FA green. And so so when they sent me the picture, I was like, wow, so this is great, this is awesome. The original guy that had ordered the car had actually uh, decided to not buy the car. And so they reached out to me and they said, hey, we'll sell it to you. And I was like, that's great, but at what? Uh, I'm just not gonna pay over sticker. They hang up the phone and they're like, look, we'll call you back. And sure enough, they end up calling me back and say, hey, I talked to the manager and they're willing to sell you uh, the 2022, 2022 Mustang Mach 1 in eruption green with a 10 speed automatic for absolutely sticker. There's only two add-ons, they said, uh, if you're willing to do it, we'll, we'll close the deal. They're like, we're gonna add wheel locks for $140 and we're gonna add a tent for $249. So I'm like, hey, I was gonna do those things anyways. I said, let's let's make it happen. So again, these conversations happened this past Saturday and I, I think right now we're in July 15, 16, 17, something like that. I'm, I'm off on my days, guys. 
uh, uh, July, again, 2022. Okay, well, send me, send me the out the door price. I wanna make sure that what you're saying is right. I text message a guy, you're selling him a sticker. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. One thing leads to another. I end up giving a $500 deposit. I'm supposed to go pick up the car. So if that actually happened, I will be posting this vlog so you guys know what's happening. If not, then this was just an update to the channel on what's going on. So you'll see next, uh, probably again tomorrow, me heading towards a dealership. I'll film a little bit of the car upon delivery. Uh, and it's exciting. Never owned a Mustang. Uh, it'll be my first muscle car again in the Ford uh, tree. And it's exciting. So we'll see how it goes and uh, stay tuned. Uh, Again, what you'll see next is probably us driving to the Ford dealership if everything is going as promised.